Hi, this is Magna, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add <coughs> custom uh, unit cards to your units. Now, I've already extracted in a previous episode all the uh, models and variant meshes for the different units. Um, and this time, to start off, if we want to see where what the unit cards are, that currently exist, we can extract this one here. So I've opened up data underscore Rome 2 already. <clears throat> and if you go scroll down to UI, units, you'll need both those folders. So let's just extract them so we can check them out ourselves. So extract selected and we'll browse for our vanilla extracted folder here. Tutorial, vanilla extracted. Click OK, and that will extract all the unit card for the different units. And that's all we need for that. We can close that. So let's go check them out. Units. Now there's two types of two two files which combine uh, to make a unit card. You've got the icon, which all unit cards will need. And then there's the, an optional mask, which is applied over the icon, which you'll see in a sec. So, for instance, we can pick the same unit. You can see that not every single unit has a mask over it. If we open the mask up, If we open the mask up in, let's open with GIMP. There it is. So you can open up in GIMP, and you'll see it's just a certain little area outlined. And it determines where the faction color will be applied over the unit. The icon, it's the icon which is here, so here you can see so it's just where the color is going to go, over the top. Probably a bit too zoomed, but yeah, anyway. Um, so that was Galatian Nobleman masks. So let's compare that to the Galatian Nobleman icon. Ah, oh, it doesn't seem like they're all in here. Okay, so there's also, I guess, uh, in here as well, in the data folder, there will be more icons. So open that and extract it as well. UI units. There we go. Extract selected. Same thing as before. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, that's more like it. I thought 130 was too few uh, <laughs> unit cards. Uh, okay, now now we should have them all this time. So what do we have? We have Galatian, Celtic Galatian Nobleman. So let's go find that unit, and you can compare the two. Now these are both of them are saved in PNG format. There it is. Um, so make sure when you do your own, you save them in PNG format. Galatian Nobleman. Okay. There's that one. And that one. So you can just see that that 
will be applied directly over that. The shield area will not have any faction color on it, but the cloak and the pants will. So you can do create your own unit card and save it in PNG, um, and then create a mask if you want to have a mask. With mask, when you save them, always save them as underscore mask underscore one, and that way they will be applied automatically over the unit. If you don't put that little bit on there, I don't think it'll work. Um, yeah, so I, I'm not going to show you how to edit a uh, to create a new unit card with art skills and all that because I don't have art skills, uh, <laughs> but I can do the, do the database stuff. Um, so what we do now is we can just quit out of that. I don't need that open. And we'll go to our mod pack that we're working on. Open it up and we can add the same directory, so units. I've already set it up in the base mod pack that I've provided and I've even put in a little default icon. So I've just got the cell Celtic Chariot icon there which I put in there. Um, you just upload yours, right click on the each folder, add file and then select your unit card that you've created. Icons obviously go in icons, masks obviously go in masks and then you assign it to the unit in the unit variance table. For instance in this if we're going to assign it to Celtic, Ch Celtic Chariot uh, unit card to one of the units I've got here. We're going to do just exactly that. Underscore chariot. Ooh. And that's all you have to do. Now, this will link to this name of the icon, and the mask will be applied automatically over that icon. You can save that, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.